You can see on the corner, there is a dip on the north side. Okay, there's a curb cut there. Huge puddle though, it's another monsoon. But when you get over where the red car is, that supposed curb cut is no more than 12 inches wide. And it's about two inches high. Which makes even a child's wheelchair an impossible jump for that curb cut. The bumps on the sidewalk are horrible. Like I said, the, what this sidewalk has going for it is it's a little wider. And it actually has curb cuts. Now, we'll look across the street again. Over here by Leisure Tan. And there's no curb cut there either. And you can't get into Leisure Tan. And you can't get into the laundromat. That's not wheelchair accessible. And you can't get into Adirondack too. No matter how much you might want to try to. I think I can get a shot of that. Once this guy moves out of the way. Okay, there's the Adirondack Soup Company. And nothing but stairs. Same thing with Archer Body Works. No wheelchair access. Same thing with Lorman's Trophies. No wheelchair access. Shall we go downtown a little farther now that I have a fresh camera? Why not? I'm crossing Oak at Brinkerhoff. I'm on this side of the street. The side towards the interstate. Because even though this sidewalk is terrible, the other side is worse. From the long shot here, you might be able to tell that the street tilts to the right. This is most likely for drainage, and almost every street in Plattsburgh has a certain amount of tilt. Here's Lorman's inaccessible entrance. Okay. Okay, now the way power wheelchairs are supposed to operate, and even manual wheelchairs, <laughs> is they're supposed to operate on flat surfaces. And that doesn't mean flat, flat. It means flat at a straight plane, not on a tilted plane. When it's on a tilted plane, for the manual wheelchair user, this becomes a very difficult thing to push their wheelchair because they have to do far more work on the upper side than on the lower side of the plane. For the power wheelchair user, this exhausts their batteries and often makes one side of the motor burn out before the other side, which makes you have to replace your motors far sooner than you would have to if this were not the case. Lovely crosswalk here. Looking up this street, it's just a disaster. Oh, by the way, all of Ridley's, Andrew Poring, North Country Center for Independence, they've been trying to make them accessible for ever. Now our lovely street planners thought it would be nice to put trees and greenery in the sidewalk. That's all fine and good if you don't junk it up with other crap. But at the widest point here, it's just wide enough for me to go through in my wheelchair. If somebody has a wheelchair, or excuse me, a bicycle there, or a garbage can, or restaurant tables, like they always do here at Baxter's Bagels, which, by the way, Baxter's Bagels. Also, no wheelchair access. You see, here I am to the right of their tables, and I'm directly in line with hitting the freaking tree. So, I gotta go very carefully. 
and I'm by Booth Insurance where there's also no wheelchair access. And then Poor Man's Treasures, no wheelchair access there either. Mind you, this is just one street and I haven't found one accessible business. Now this is Learn to Knit Artworks, no wheelchair access. Number 16 Brinker Hop. I guess people with wheelchairs don't need to learn to knit or want to. This is the Dundas Hookah Lounge, whatever the heck that is. No. Oh, I could be wrong. Look. There's a little bit of a ramp. You might be able to get in there. Here is Living Well Chiropractic Massage Therapy Appointments and No Wheelchair Access. 